In this presentation, we will see how to install and use the DAX Editor extension for Visual Studio. First of all, we have to download and install the DAX Editor Visual Studio extension. So looking in the Visual Studio Gallery online, we can search for the DAX Editor extension, download and install. This operation requires a few seconds and once you complete this, you have to, restore, to restart the Visual Studio. At this point, we can extract the measures from the data model in a text file. So instead of navigating into the single measure editor that you have in the standard editor from SSDT, you can go in model, and now you see you have this get measure from bin file, which is a feature introduced by DAX editor. Once you click this, you will obtain a DAX file here that has a text definition of all the measures in the data model. You can go in the DAX menu and you can reformat the selection or the entire document using a DAX formatter. This is a service that requires the first time maybe one or two seconds. And as you see, you can modify the code of these measures. And you can also, for example, using copy and paste, create a new one. For example, I would like to create a very similar measure that instead of transforming the sales amount for the year over year calculation, we'll do the same for the cost measure. So I can just use the replacement here in the selection. Instead of sales amount, I want to use cost. And now I have a new measure in my data model. If I go in the DAX menu and I click Save Measure to BIM File, I will translate these measures into the BIM file. However, be careful. At this point, you modified the BIM file on disk, but not the one that you have here in Visual Studio open. So what you have to do is to close the BIM file and to open it again from the solution. This is very important because if you don't do that, you will not read the changes applied from the DAX file to the BIM file. At this point, the BIM file has been updated in the workspace, and you see we have the new measure cost year over year. Now the same thing, um, with the same uh, technique, you can also remove measures. So for example, if I remove the measure cost and I do the same operation here, say a measure to bin file, you will see that uh, now my bin file that I have to close and open again will not have uh, my uh, cost measure, cost year over year measure. DAX Editor is an open source project, and you can find the source code, collaborate, and see the version history in uh, the website on github.com. So enjoy DAX Editor and give us your feedback.